Everyone, I'm Sheba Russell. We begin with the now viral tasing and arrests of two college students pulled from a car during the protests in downtown Atlanta. Two of the officers involved are now fired. The police body cam video released and we want to warn you it is graphic. Atlanta's mayor and police chief calling it excessive force. Andy Parati walks us through the video and the city's quick response. Masai Young attempts to record cell phone video of someone screaming and on the ground under arrest. It's 945 Saturday night. An officer asks the Morehouse College student to drive away and then get out of the car. Young keeps going. Officer Ivory Streeter catches up with him. Another officer then starts hitting Young's car window with a baton. Open the window! On the other side of the car, officers surround Young's passenger, Tania Pilgrim, a Spelman University student. Officers ask her to get out, but the car is still moving, so Pilgrim pauses. Officer Mark Garner then deploys his taser. Back on the other side of the car, officers think Young is reaching for a gun. Seconds later, Officer Streeter fires off his taser, shocking Young for nearly 10 seconds. Young had no weapon. We, we don't know what you hear that. We hear a taser going off uh, right now. We're not sure who's being tased. 11 Alive reporter Hope Ford witnessed it live. Sorry about that. I just heard the officer say all you had to do was show your hands. You almost got shot. And this, this is one that kept me up all night as well. Chief Erica Shields took action quickly, firing Officer Streeter and Gardner on Sunday. And as we watch the video today, um, it became abundantly clear immediately uh, with a young woman that this force was excessive. These, these are good guys. I know them as individuals. I've worked with the one for over 20 years. But they made that level of mistake that cannot be rolled back. City officials asking for forgiveness while demonstrators continue to protest against similar police brutality. And I know that we cause further fear in, to you in a space that's already so fearful for so many African Americans. And I am genuinely sorry. Uh, this is not who we are. This is not where we're about. And Chief Shield says she'll ask the solicitor and attorney general to determine whether criminal charges should be filed against the two fired officers. Three other officers are now on desk duty pending further investigation. Mayor Bottom says she hopes to personally apologize to the two college students soon. So how